What's going on? We're back again with another podcast. Um, back again with the audio podcast, this time with pictures. That's right. My right brain introduced itself to my left brain, and we came together, and we figured out how to throw some pictures onto this audio podcast. Uh, it's going to be gonna be a little different uh, from the last one, just because it's going to be shorter. Um, some people told me like the last one was long. It really was. It was 36 minutes. Uh, if you watch that long, my God, you're a soldier. I mean, it's a podcast. I mean, most podcasts go up to two hours. I'm barely doing mine for half. All right. So like, but hey, I mean, like, I'm here. I'm here at service of the fans, at you guys. So going to try to keep this one short. Uh, today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about some of my least favorite shows just because I need something like, like, I, I get everything going on, Corona, right? There's, uh, there's a lot of negative stuff going on and I just want to add to it just because, uh, just because I hate these shows and I don't, uh, well, not, I don't hate some of them. I hate most of them. And then, uh, you know. Just because I would just, you might as well just pile on, you know, right? Like, uh, kick the dead horse while it's down. That's the saying. Um, but before before we get into all that, just a few quick hitters. Uh, Going to talk about sports for just a little bit. Uh, you know, the NBA has, uh, they've been, you know, trying to keep pushing out content. Uh, you know, the NBA, they've had their players playing uh, 2K. And then it just came out that uh, the players are thinking about, or the NBA is thinking about doing horse, like just have like a professional like horse tournament. I don't know how you're going to do that with NBA players. But yeah, basically what the idea is, is that they're just going to live stream from their homes and, you know, just have like their own courts. And then they're just going to go shot for shot on a live stream. Now, I don't know about you, but I've played horse a lot in my life. And I don't think I've ever just been sitting there and watching somebody play horse and thought to myself, oh my gosh, this is so entertaining. This is so much fun. No, because horse, for the most part, well, now is for the most part, is relatively boring. Now, when they get into more, like, difficult, crazy shots, you just be like, okay, wow, we actually made that? That's wild. But, you know, for the most part, horse isn't something that's just, like, uh, entertaining or crazy. And then they also talked about playing, uh, like, the NBA Finals or maybe the rest of the uh, NBA season on a cruise ship. First off, I think that's stupid. Um, I don't know why, like, why you would want to have... I don't know. Like, if I was if I was a player, for me, if somebody was just like, "Hey, you're gonna go on a cruise ship and you're gonna play," I probably would just because I love to play basketball. But if like the idea of it, just being like, "Dude, you're actually on a cruise ship playing," I don't I don't see the point in that. Uh, honestly, I think you know they should just uh, you know just uh, put cancel it. You know, put an asterisk on it just because you know there's there's just too much going on. Like, and it's the it's. The season is just out of schedule. It's that's it is what it is. Like uh, you know, it might be done by June. Most of the time, June is when the uh the NBA finals are starting. So I mean, uh, I I think it would just be a time. I think it would just be the right time to just say, hey, you know, we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna cut the season short. Um, and then we're just gonna you know we're just basically gonna erase that whole season and then you know we'll start uh from the from where we left off and then i think i just think that would be better you know just uh just start all over but the nfl has said uh fuck you corona and uh has started uh saying they're gonna start on time the nfl draft is coming up don't know how they're gonna do that um but yeah nfl is just like no we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do and uh we're just gonna we're just gonna do whatever we want," said the NFL. And uh, if you don't like that, well, then you know, middle fingers up to you. It's basically what the NFL is saying to the world. Um, all right, so let's see which one should we start. I do have some notes here just because I uh, I hate a lot. And when I say I hate, when I use the word hate, and, you know, there's people who's out there who's just like Ben hates a strong word. That's why I use it because I I. F- fucking despise some of these shows uh we're gonna start off with how to get away with murder just because i i hate it so much um uh i first i first found the show on netflix and then me and my mom started watching it and it was fun you know me and my mom uh we have a lot of things in common we like a lot of the same shows but we don't really watch shows together we just go off in our own worlds 
but you know this was one of the shows we did like we discovered together and we we're just like dude let's uh you know this was, it was like our thing right you know you always have some things with your parents they're like it's just you and your parent and this was one of me and my mom's things and, and uh you know first season was really good because you know you weren't used to it it was like it was a lot of uh like jumping back and forth between present time and past time and then future time i mean it was like the timeline of the show was just insane and then like season two it kind of started to get repetitive where you're just like all right you know like um what what the fuck's going on here you know it's just like all right let's just sift through all this garbage because even because even when like they show you it's like oh it's present time it's not really present time it's still past and then they're showing you the past of the past so it's it's like it's so confusing and you don't know and you don't know what's really real and then like they'll just show you random bits of the past but you were already in the past and then they didn't show you all the bits of the past but that's not how flashbacks works flashbacks goes back and they show you like what happened in this event they don't just like keep little tiny parts like it's just like okay say you're in a story right and uh this man's talking to another man he's explaining what happened in the past and in the past in the flashback this guy fought another guy he killed him he stole his car and he left right now you if this was how to get away with murder right of course they would show hey he killed the guy and then he got away they would leave the part out of him stealing the car until like it was three episodes later and you ask yourself why would they do that uh, because apparently there's another dead body in the car, and he uh, was like, uh, he was like basically stealing the body or something stupid like that, and and it just makes no sense. Like, why did you need to throw that little? Why did you need to throw that little wrench into the flashback? And the answer from from the show, the show, like the answer the show will give you is because we can't, and. It's just so stupid. I mean, I got halfway through season three. My favorite character got murdered, and I was just like, "No, I'm I'm not having it. I'm done." I was just like, "Ah, uh, forget it." And then that was like, I was man, that was like two years ago, maybe. I mean, it was a long time ago since I stopped watching that show. And then like, and then I saw an ad for it on season six, and a bunch of craziness was going down. So I was just like, "Wow." It's it, did it get it like really interesting again, man? I'm gonna go back and watch it, and then I watched the rest of season three, and I was just like, and then I remember it's like, wow, this is why I stopped watching this show because it's terrible. And then I I started season four, I couldn't enjoy it, and I was just like, yeah, I've got to stop. This is just absolute dog shit. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I don't know how it got six seasons. It's a bad show. Uh, Viola Davis, you know, she's a great actor. She does a lot of good things. But, I mean, my God, there's no way she could save that show. And, I mean, it is her show, and so I can understand why it got six seasons just because she's phenomenal. But, like, just the the writing in this show is just – it's just dog. It's just crap. I mean, I, I can't bash on it as, as anymore because, like, it's it's just terrible. If you ever – if you're a fan of this show – I have so many questions for you because I just despise it with so much passion. I hate it so much. I mean, I don't know how you can sit there and enjoy it. And now, like, first two seasons, if, like, the show ended after the first two seasons, I'd be like, wow, that was a good show. But then after, like, season three, season four, I got, like, I made, like, five episodes into season four. And I was just like, I can't take it anymore. My brain hurts. Like, you could probably make it through the whole show by watching, uh, like, after after season two, you could probably make it through the whole show by watching the first ten minutes of every episode and the last ten minutes of every episode. And the rest of the minutes in between don't matter. Now, most shows, that's a big problem. But with How to Get Away with Murder, that's... That's the show. The middle, you could not, like, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens doesn't matter at all. The only good stuff happens in the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes. All that garbage, it's like a, it's like a, it's almost a 50 minute show. Like, I'm pretty sure on average it's like 47, 48 minutes. It's basically 50 minutes. You're basically wasting an hour of your time watching an episode. And I mean, it's just terrible. I mean, I, if you if you if you're thinking about watching it like if you've seen it on uh Netflix and you thought 
thought to yourself, man, this might be uh, a good show. Rethink your life because it's not. It's terrible. Uh, it's it's something that you shouldn't shouldn't watch at all. Um, unless you're gonna do the first ten minutes and the last ten minutes. Other than that, no, don't don't uh, don't waste your time. Uh, next show, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like that show and I just completely destroyed it for you. I would get, I like I would go into details about why I hate the show and the characters, but I mean there's no point. I mean the characters are crap. They're literally the dumbest people of all time. I mean, you, just don't watch the show. I mean, that's if you're if you're thinking about a show to watch and you thought, "Man, I might watch How to Get Away with Murder." I I'd recommend you not doing that. I'm just saying. Uh, and most of these shows, by the way, are – oh, well, all of these shows actually. All these shows are – you can find them on Netflix. That's where I found them. Uh, that's where I do most of my like show discovering just because you know that, that Netflix is pumping out the most shows. Um, yeah, so the next show that we're going to talk about is uh, Money Heist. Uh, Money Heist – Money Heist, uh, it's, not, it's not as bad as How to Get Away with Murder. Um, the thing, the thing with Money Heist, and the thing really is, it's really more of a Netflix problem, and not really a Money Heist problem. But you know, Money Heist has it, so it, therefore it is a Money Heist problem. Money Heist is a Spanish-made show. There's nothing wrong with it being a Spanish-made show, but the thing with Money Heist is that uh, for for most people, or at least for me, I assume this is for most people living in America, it starts you off. In English, okay, and and it's it's just bad. Like I uh, like like they try like they try like if you actually like go like if you actually start it in English and then you switch it to Spanish, like you can see like they basically go like word for word. Uh, and for most people who watch anime, you know it's called dubbing. Um, you know, and they dub it really well. You know, where they dub it's a take take the original audio out and then you put your preferred language in. That's called dubbing, or you know, dubbed as it is. Um, but yeah, the, like it's really like uh, like it's dubbed in a lot of languages, but like it's just like with some things, some things uh, like uh, I can only refer to it as animation because I don't watch like regular, like, I don't watch Spanish shows with uh, English voices, so I only do it with anime, right? So when they do an anime, right, they either like slow the animation down a little bit, so you know, like it looks like the. It's like the normal, uh, uh, like the you can almost like you can fall for it, right? The lip mocap, like it almost looks the same. But uh, in Spanish, Spanish is so much different from English that if like if you start it in English and then like you see him and you see him speak in the like the first the first like thirty minutes, well not thirty minutes, probably like the first fifteen minutes of Money Heist. Uh, well no, what was it? It was actually really soon. No, it was like you could tell her like right away. Uh, like this doesn't this doesn't match just because uh, uh, you're introduced to the professor who's basically the uh, mastermind of the heist, and uh, like you see him talk and like the like the words just aren't met. met uh, what am I? What am I, the words just aren't the word and the motions just aren't going together. Like he. Like the actor is done saying a sentence, and then like the audio is like still going on. If you're if you're watching it in English, that is, and uh, and you're just like and you're just like what what the f is going on? And then like for me, this is what happened. I switched. I went into audios, and I was just like, so this is obviously not an American made show. And I saw that it was Spanish, and I was just like, oh well, that's stupid to start it off in Amer to start off in English just because. Uh, I took Spanish and I was just like the Spanish and English language are very much different. There's a lot more like like uh, as far as just like syllables and like pronunciation of words. Like uh, sometimes we use more words and and syllables than they do and vice versa. Just like any language, Ben, you fucking idiot. Um, but yeah, whatever. We're just going to ignore that. Just take that right there. Take that sentence, what I said right there. Forget about it. But yeah, I mean it's just – I mean, it's like they, like they, uh, like the main character, Tokyo, uh, she's a girl, she's, uh, all, the, all the people in this show, they are, uh, what is it, thieves, criminals, you know, so they, you know, they try to paint her as just like, oh, you know, like this normal, uh, thief, criminal lady, uh, her a significant other, you know, the love of her life, as she says, uh, was killed in a job, and, uh, 
And, you know, so now so now she's a murderer. She killed the person who killed her. Uh, her I guess her husband? I mean, that's that's the only way I could uh, say it. You know, her... It was... It, in the show, it just called her her significant other. But, uh, yeah, they killed, they killed her husband. Killed her... Whatever. Or, or wife. Or wife. Doesn't have to be a man. Doesn't have... You know, uh, let me stop stereotyping. Let me, you know, my apologies for assuming that it had to be a man. That's not correct of me. Uh, man or woman that was murdered, who was her partner. Um, and so, you know, she's on the run, and then the Professor Guy finds her. And, uh, you know, uh, if, you know, from, in most shows you, like, watch, if you're, if you're on the run, you're just like, dude, fuck everybody. Like, I'm just, like, I'm killing everybody and robbing everybody. Um... But with Money Heist, like, the first thing she does is just, like, sure, if, like, follow you? Of course I will. You know, it's not like you just took a few pictures of the police officers that, you know, are stationed outside uh, my apartment. It's like it's not like you could be a police officer as well. Of course, no doubt. And uh, and basically the show just takes off from there. And uh, and there's this, there's this weird side angle with uh, with this random girl. And like you, you never like. There's no reason that should she be uh, that they, she should be important. They're robbing a bank, okay? It's not like this girl is super important, but for some reason the show keeps like hinting at it. It's like, oh, uh, you, we need to find this girl. Where is she? Blah blah blah. But I mean, it's it like it it goes off as like this. Uh, it gives off the vibe like it's really complex and it's really um, what's it action packed. But I mean, if you watch it, it's uh, it's not that. It's not. It's not. It's not as good as it's hyped up to be. I mean, it's all right. It's a it's a C or a B plus show. I mean, it's doing great on Netflix. I think it's like top ten in America. I mean, people like it. Me personally, I don't. But I mean, hey, uh, I would I. I mean, it's not like How to Get Away with Murder. I'm not telling you to not watch it, but uh, it's a it's a C. It's an average show for me and me personally. Um, next, I know this one. This one's going to be controversial. I know a lot of people. I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but one of my least favorite shows that is out right now is uh, fucking Stranger Things. All right, I know you hear that. You're just like Ben. How can you not like Stranger Things? First off. The whole first season of Stranger Things don't need it. You really don't. I mean, like, uh, like the I guess like the hinting at like whatever what what they called it like a demi gorgon, I think that's what they called the uh the creature on the first on the first season of Stranger Things, right? Really, like after like it's I think it's like eight episodes per per season. The first season, you really – you like – you don't need the show. You don't need to start watching the show until like episode five or six maybe. I mean that first season is just like ridiculous. Like there's nothing – there's nothing really interesting happening. It's like creeping along at a slow pace and then they rush the finish at the end of season one where, you know, like the – like if it, like if season one was like just like – just like episodes like five through eight, dude, I feel like uh, it would be a great show if it was like that, you know, where they're running away from the like FBI. I think that I think it was, you know, if they're running away from the FBI, if they're trying to like figure everything out, figure out uh, like the upside down. I I thought that was good, but I mean, other than that, oh, and then like L just like going uh, ham on all the people and killing everyone. I thought that was I thought that was impressive, but I was just like a little a little much, you know. She has like, she has like a lot of these like super strong, amazing powers, right? She doesn't have to murder everybody. Those are just those are just uh, people, you know. You know, doesn't have to kill them, but I mean, of course, they are the bad guys in that situation. Probably, you know, have to err on the side of caution, gun them down. She didn't gun them down. She snapped all their necks, but that's neither here nor there. And then uh, season two. Oh, well, I, it's been a while since I watched the show just because I don't like it. Um, season two, it's like she was like punk. What was it? What happened in season two? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember this off from the top of the dome. Season, season, I've been, I've been watching season three because, you know, trying to gear for season four. I don't, that's not true. I'm not gearing up for anything. 
Uh, but season three, you know, it's like the relationship of her, uh, L, and what what what's his face, like the goofiest looking kid out there. Other than the kid with the bowl cut, the kid with the bowl cut is just like weird. And I mean, I apologize for that kid in the bowl cut. He just gets like destroyed every chance he gets. Like the monsters all come for him. Like it, I feel bad for the kid. But uh, yeah, kid with the bowl cut. Uh, I don't know any of their names. Why? Because I don't like the show. So don't, you know, you can get at me, but like, I'm just being real. I don't like the show. But yeah, um, yeah, so the weird, like the weird scrawny looking kid and then Eleven, they are, they're like, uh, trying to get together in season two or they do. Yeah, 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 they do get together in season two, but like not for a long time because, you know, super bad guy, uh, policeman is just like, no, you can't see him. It's too dangerous, even though she's a like a fucking superhero basically she could snap your neck at any moment but the outside world's too dangerous for you sister so of course you know they go through the whole garbage of that and him trying to be a parent you know even though they couldn't be a parent and you know of course you have to feel sympathy for him being a bad parent so they show hey he had a kid kid died uh they got divorced or something like that and i mean it's it's just you you know we're trying to you're trying to sympathize with a character who's just there's no reason to sympathize for him like some people are just aren't good parents I mean that is what it is and like he just doesn't know how to parent why because he doesn't know how to take care of himself like you see it in his house or in his trailer where he lives like he he's not a well cleaned guy so I mean you know trying to bring up sympathy for that guy I mean it, it's it's not my thing you know you only bring up sympathy when it's there uh but yeah I mean. Uh, yeah, that, and, oh, and then, uh, who's it? They brought in Maxine, Ginger Girl. Uh, you know, I don't think they need, like, I, I hate the fact that they're trying to bring, like, romantic interest into all these people's lives, because it's not what it is. They're a group of nerds, alright? And the part of, and the fact that they're a group of nerds is that they're, like, they go on their own. They're solo. And, uh, but no, there's, like, uh, oh, Lucas is one of them. I think, uh, that's the, uh, African American child. I think him and Maxine are supposed to get together, but then him and Toothless Kid, um, you know, they are they are. Uh, he likes her, but she uh, thinks she's creepy as shit. And then uh, Bull Cut Kid is just like all over the place. And then uh, I can't remember. I look. I'm telling you, like I I don't I don't like the show. And these are just my opinions. Also, these are just my opinions. Uh, if you want to watch the shows, go ahead. I'm not telling you not to. Kind of, well, except for How to Get Away with Murder. Never watched that show. But, like, these other two shows, and who, which are, like, people's favorite shows, I just I just can't get behind them. Like, they just don't do it for me. If somebody if somebody was just like, hey, Ben, come over and watch Stranger Things with me, I couldn't. I, I would not. I'd be like, it, it makes my head hurt. No, it's it's so stupid. Um, it's, I just couldn't do it. Oh, dropped a coin. Uh... How much time? Oh gosh, twenty three minutes. Uh, I'll talk about it. Should I? Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Last night, you know, me, me and the family, we watched uh the movie nineteen seventeen, uh, which has done really well. It's got a lot of uh, what's it? Awards. Can't believe I forgot the word awards. It's got a lot of awards. You know, it's done really well. Most things considering. But I mean, if you if you watch like the trailers and like you and like you know, of course they're gonna drum it up, right? And it was like one of the one of the things that always stuck with me though was just like it's so fast paced. The only time it stops is to reload, and then boom, boom, explosions, explosions. Like watch 1917, and then you watch 1917, and then you're just like, this is not what the trailer portrayed at all. I mean, it really isn't. Uh. It's 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 a it's not a terrible movie, but I mean it's not it's not great, you know. Like in the trailers, it portrayed like these uh, these two guys going to do some. Those they're like they're together for maybe thirty minutes before something happens, blase blase, you know. And then it's just one guy for the rest of the whole movie. There's like one fight scene maybe with him, maybe two. Uh, yeah, I think he gets into, like, one gunfight and one fist fight, and then that's it for the fighting. Other than that, uh, one of the, one of the main parts, this was, I'm literally, I'm like, no joke, this was, like, ten minutes of the, of the movie. It was just, like, 
uh, him trying to drag a, drag his uh, drag a friend, and then like this other company comes up and is just like, "Hey, come with us." You know, we're on the move, so he goes with them, and then uh, like they they ride it. They ride, they stop, they ride, they stop, they ride, they get stuck in a dirt pile. Uh, ride and stop is what I meant to say. They ride and stop, ride and stop, and then they get stuck in a dirt pile, and he tries to push it. And then, you know, they ask him, like, hey, why are you so determined to keep on moving? And then, like, maybe two minutes later, they stop, and they're just like, oh, well, you know, uh, can't go any farther than this, man. Like, you're on your own. He's just like, all right, off to sea. And they're all British, by the way. It's 1917. It's World War One. Um, he's just like, all right, cheerio. I'm off to uh, go save the day. And then like, he doesn't fight at all. And then throughout throughout the whole movie, they're just like, oh, you know, he doesn't care about anyone. You know, he hasn't like he always talks about. Oh, I have nothing to send uh, back to. But then like he fucking does, and like he he does. He's got a family and he's got a wife, and it's just like. And it's just like, why do you want to play with my emotions like that? Like, why do you want me to be like, oh, this guy doesn't give a shit about life at all. But then, like, he has something to live for. He's got kids. He's got a wife. Like, I don't understand. Like, what was the what was the play call there, bro? Like, I just don't get it. But, uh, you know, we could – I could go uh, on and on about all of this, but I'm not going to because I respect you. I respect your sanity levels. You're probably pulling your hair out too. At the Stranger Things comment that I made. Uh, look, don't get at me, okay? I don't like the show. I think it sucks. Um, whatever. But thank you for joining me for this episode of Ben's Podcasting Crew. Without the crew, still in quarantine. But, uh, you know, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry, I just got a message that I'm not paying attention to. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video. Share the video. Can't say that enough. Grow. Let's grow this community. Let's have more interactions. I love it. Uh, I'm trying to upload as much as I can. You know, I, t- I do love doing the podcast. Uh, so, yeah, let's keep it up. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And, you know, hopefully – I think next time we'll talk about uh, shows that I do like and why do I like them. And, uh, you know, we'll not focus on the negative as much because, you know, as well as there is negative going on right now, there's still positive things going on. But, you know, we'll talk about that next time. All right. Uh, thank you for joining me for this episode of the podcast.